A racist remark by Maldivian politician Zahid Ramiz, a council member of the Progressive Party of Maldives, has ignited widespread outrage and a tourism downturn following comments targeting Indians after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Lakshadweep. Ramiz's derogatory remarks surfaced on social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, in response to users praising PM Modi's Lakshadweep visit, suggesting it would boost tourism in the region and potentially divert visitors from the Maldives. Ramiz commented, The move is great. However, the idea of competing with us is delusional. How can they provide the service we offer? How can they be so clean? The permanent smell in the rooms will be the biggest downfall. Dismissing the idea of competition, Ramiz made offensive comments about Indian cleanliness standards, triggering a social media backlash and calls to boycott the Maldives as a tourist destination. In the aftermath, numerous Indian tourists have reportedly cancelled their Maldives vacation plans in protest against the discriminatory comments made by the Maldivian government officials. Despite facing widespread criticism, Ramiz, a PPM member, chose not to apologize or retract his statement. Instead, he portrayed himself as a victim, emphasizing his identity as a Muslim, and justified his remarks by referencing alleged hurtful comments made by others. He said, I was born in India, and FYI, I am not a lawmaker. I share my thoughts through tweets. It's confusing why there's a reaction especially when there have been more hurtful comments about us, Muslims and Palestine, by your people. Anyway, I usually don't comment, so this one time, deal with it, please. The incident has strained diplomatic relations between India and the Maldives, further exacerbated by the political shift in the country. The newly elected president, Mohammad Mezu of the PPM, is perceived as leaning more towards China, requesting India to withdraw its military forces from the Maldives during his inauguration ceremony in November. As tensions persist, the fallout from Ramiz's comments highlight the intersection of diplomatic complexities, regional politics, and the impact of discriminatory rhetoric on international relations.